I'm Corey. Uh, I am the CEO of Spellbrush, as, as DK mentioned, and we are here building an AI anime game studio. And so this is a bit of a mouthful, so I'm, I'm here to break it down a little bit. AI anime game studio, we can start with the first part, like what, what exactly do I mean by AI anime? So these images are all drawn by one of our next generation illustration models, as are these images all drawn by uh, Niji Journey, which is the largest anime generation system in the world. I think we generate about a million images a day. So in the time that it's taken for me to like come up on stage, it's probably 50 to 100 new waifus and husbandos have been created. Literally, we have probably at this point one of the largest diffusion production diffusion research teams in the world. Uh, and we probably outspend everyone on anime research specifically by about an order of magnitude with a very large number of GPUs, TPUs, and other related resources. So um, all sorts of things get generated. Here's like an elf girl. Here's like a dragon blowing some bubbles. Here's a centaur. Here's a man with some bread. Here's a cat. So there's all, like, basically, it's, it's advanced text image generation, and, and you can create essentially anything with it. Um, how did we get here? Why is there a picture of a cat with a gun in, in a cup? Um, our team started off, well, from DK's intro, as, as a, in, a, in a B in a games class. But, but more specifically, as a small studio, art is very time consuming and very difficult. And so we had built a lot of advanced tooling for our creative director in order to accelerate her workflow. So seen here is a very early prototype circa about 2018 on a generative adversarial network to do automatic colorization where the artist is drawing on the right side and on the left side we're trying to actively predict final colorization. Um, this since advanced we ended up making a meme site in about 2019 called Waifu Labs in which now the characters are actually being fully drawn by one of our generative adversarial models. And then now, obviously, with modern diffusion-based techniques, we can draw entire pictures, and we can integrate these into our creative pipeline and our, and our workflows. Um, so given all of this, like, what, what should you do with the tech? Because there's a lot of different directions you can go. Kind of, as the studio part hints, like, our bet ultimately is like, well, given the technology, we should make games, because ultimately, like, that's what we want to do. We need to avenge this bee. <laughs> um, but more specifically, we should make AI native games, because our team through the past five years has built up an extraordinary amount of expertise on actually training large-scale foundational text image models, both in the generative adversarial and as well as the uh, diffusion era. So specifically, Aeromancer is uh, one of the first games we launched back in 2022, which is the world's first ge generative AI-powered game in which the characters are actually being drawn in real time if the ads pass. But this was launched um, where characters, players had unique characters that were being created on the fly and integrated actually in the gameplay itself. Um, we can go back to the slides. Yep. And uh, so we are currently in production on our next game, Project Crown, which will now advance from the, the GAN era into the Diffusion era, and we're hoping to launch this at the end of this year. So that, that kind of bridges how we are both an AI anime team as well as a game studio, and we are also hiring. So we are a relatively large team now, 20 people, spread across two offices, one in Tokyo, obviously downtown Akihabara for all the otaku out there, and downtown SF, next to the 4th and King Caltrain. And specifically, we're hiring a number of roles. There are maybe four of you in the room for whom, like Konosuba Aqua standing on top of about a petabyte worth of flash is very compelling. And for those of you, you should come find me in the uh, yellow rain jacket. So engineers, AI researchers, as well as game development staff. So thank you. <laughs> 